What is up you guys, Nick here. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Thanks for coming back if you're not. If you have been with me since the beginning, just look at how far we have come. I have been talking about Neo for the better part of a year now. I first started investing at $3 and first told my subscribers to purchase at $7. All I can say at this point, is that I'm practically speechless. Nearing $60 a share, and with a one-way ticket to the moon in hand for 2021, baby. With Neo Day 2020 slated for tomorrow, the hype and promise surrounding this company is to put, quite frankly, at all-time new highs. That's a pun about their new all-time high share price, breaking on the $60 previous resistance line. If we thought Neo Day was gonna be huge, just wait for what I have in store for you lot today. This will be fundamentally game-changing. I will be streaming Neo Day all day tomorrow and giving my updates and thoughts on the unveilings on my Patreon page, so make sure you check that out. The link is in the description. Neo Day is tomorrow, but today is today, and there is new information emerging about a new deal that Neo has signed that will fundamentally alter their long term trajectory. This will be massive for their future prospects and valuations. We have so much to get to in today's video, and to say I'm excited is a vast understatement. But before we get it, Weevil has improved their promo. They are now offering four free stocks worth up to $3,700. All you have to do is one, sign up, two, open an account, and three, deposit in at least $100 using the link in my description. This is a complete no-brainer. Weevil offers some of the best analytics in the game and are a 0% commissions trading platform. This offer runs soon, guys. Don't sleep on it. I have just started a Patreon page. I'm going to be posting every single one of my trades moving throughout 2021. I finished 2020 with more than a 50% ROI. Decimate that like button for Neo Day. Hit that subscribe button and let's get right into it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so Neo Day is finally here. I have literally been talking about this day for nine months now, and I am genuinely more giddy for this day than I was for Christmas. I don't know if that's saying more about me or more about Neo, but whatever. I do think this is going to be a fundamental day in Neo's business trajectory. This is going to once and for all finalize their position as an actual legitimate competitor against Tesla. There's a new kid on the block. Their name is Neo, and they ain't going anywhere. Throughout the course of 2019 and 2020, the amount of naysayers and doubters of Neo's quest for profitability was surmounting. However, the short sellers were continually bashed out of existence. Neo laughs at short sellers. Take that, Mr. Left. Neo stunned us last year during Neo Day 2019 with the unveiling of their beautiful, and may I say, hot EC6, and then moreover continually stunned us with their rapidly increasing delivery growth rates month over month. The EC6, having only been on the market for three short months, has already become their highest selling model in a one month period. They also proved their outsourcing capabilities and really shored this up last month, delivering over 7,000 views vehicles in the course of just 31 days in December. They are expected to unveil their first sedan, the ET7, the sleek and gorgeous smart sedan, which has also been rumored to have advanced driverless technology implemented in its software. We will get more on this tomorrow. There are also rumors that Neo will be unveiling plans into a 150 kilowatt battery cell pack tomorrow. This could enable up to 900 kilometers any DC range, which would be an absolute game changer for the company. There will also likely be more transparency into their departure from being solely a domestic Chinese company and moving into the European territory, whether that be into Copenhagen, Denmark, or Norway, or both. However, more than anything else, more than Neo Day, more than short-term share movements, what do we long-term investors care most about? You got it, their long-term trajectories. When analyzing a company, I like to zoom out, put on my wide-angle lens, and objectively evaluate the long-term potential three, five, ten years down the line minimum. This news emerging about a new Neo deal fundamentally changes the company's trajectory. All right, so what is it? Cut to the chase. Chinese media is reporting that Neo has signed a deal with the battery manufacturing company CATL Cattle for procuring a line of batteries, specifically lithium iron phosphate batteries. Now, you may be thinking, okay, big deal. Electric vehicles uh, do that all the time, Nick. They need batteries. You okay there, bud? Well, let's dive in a bit deeper. Cattle specializes in manufacturing optimized performance, and here's the key word, inexpensive batteries. 
lithium iron phosphate batteries are much cheaper than the high durable luxury batteries composed of iron and nickel that offer these maxed ranges. With lithium iron phosphate batteries, prices can dip below $80 per kilowatt hour, which is incredibly cheap when compared to the iron and nickel batteries. And what's moreover, this number will only continue decreasing in the coming quarters and years. Do we remember no another mega successful electric vehicle company who has used a lithium iron phosphate battery system to squeeze the pricing of vehicles lower? Yep, you guessed it again. Tesla. NIO has been actively lowering the barrier to entry point in their luxury vehicles with recent introduction of their battery as a service model. This is where consumers can essentially rent the battery, the most pound for pound cost heavy portion of the vehicle, saving thousands of dollars on the purchasing price. Now along with national subsidies in China that apply almost exclusively to NIO because they have a swappable battery, this can amount to literally tens of thousands of dollars cheaper upon sale. Now Li Bin, NIO's CEO and founder and GOAT of all GOATs, has actually stated in an interview with Bloomberg News just a few months ago that NIO was not actually intending to enter the economy or starter EV market. He shored up the fact that instead they wanted to persist with their increasing deliveries of luxury vehicles. With luxury vehicles comes quite a notable amount of brand equity and reaching double digit margins in both vehicle and gross margins is less difficult. When positioned in the wider affordability market, companies must begin winning by numbers. However, NIO is growing much faster than their management had initially anticipated. With this procurement of less expensive batteries, analysts start stating that this is a definite signal that NIO tends to enter the affordability market. This will be massive for this company. NIO and all public companies essentially have one goal when zooming out, and that's making profits. A company needs profits to be a viable project, or else why would you have it? Although NEO is not yet profitable, they are paving the road that will take them there, and they'll also be driving a NEO on that road they just paved. NEO is realizing that their brand equity and name won't be diminished by entering the affordability market just as Tesla's has stayed intact. With this being said, I by no means think that NEO will ever move away from being predominantly a luxury electric vehicle company, at least for the foreseeable future. This is their bread and butter. They are increasing vehicle sales every single month. There is clearly demand and overwhelming demand at that. With battery as a service and their subsidy programs, their vehicles are actually affordable while staying in the mid upper luxury market. I do think this decision is a direct move to combat the market share against Tesla's Model 3, which does absolute numbers in China. There are reports that we may actually have this battery on the market in the calendar year 2021. Just as we saw in their line of SUVs, NIO started out with their largest model, the ES8, and then progressively released two more SUVs of smaller frames. They also then put the ES8 through a revamping project, so what does this all tell us? I think it's very likely that we see a similar course of action in their sedan lines in the coming months and quarters and years. I do think the ET7 will be on the market likely in November or December, and then in 2022, we'll likely see the implementation of a sedan in the affordability market range. This will be huge. Once this has been implemented, NEO can then start drastically increasing their vehicle sold per month, which does three fundamental things for the company. One, it greatly increases their brand awareness. This is huge for this company and has been previously. The majority of sales are now coming from word of mouth. Number two, it allows for increased revenue streams. This of course is necessary. And lastly, with more vehicles on the road, NEO's battery swapping infrastructure is expected to increasingly contribute to NEO's bottom line. Remember, with more vehicles on the road, comes more battery swaps, comes more revenue for the company. I do think NEO Power is a dark horse division for this company, and it's really a trick up their sleeve. NEO has dominated the luxury division, and they are now entering the affordability market, where I do think they will also dominate and be able to steal away a big portion of Tesla's market. I am so excited for this. Really guys, I, I can't say it enough. This company kind of feels like my baby. I've been with them for so long. And to see the kind of spotlight that has come about this company kind of feels weird. It's like one of my friends got famous or something. Anyways, everyone, I can't wait to see you guys all tomorrow. It's going to be a fun one. 
I'll be covering the whole thing, releasing my thoughts, and then a special tomorrow night. Don't forget about the Weeble promo, four free stocks worth up to $3,700. All you have to do is one, sign up, two, open an account, and three, deposit in at least $100 using the link in my description. Check out my Patreon page if you haven't. I would really appreciate it. Helps me out a bit, and I'll be posting all of my trades throughout the course of 2021, behind the scenes content, more Neo updates, and faster. Anyways, everyone, thank you so much for watching. What a time to be a Neo investor. I will see you guys all tomorrow. Take care. Happy trading. Cheers.